Hello and welcome to St. Matt's Kids Online. My name is Liberty and I've been attending St. Matt's since 2017. Lockdown has been going pretty great for me. Um, there has been some good aspects and some bad aspects. But I've loved spending time with my family, but I have been missing my friends lots. Today we have an interview with Tabitha and she will be telling us how she has been staying connected with God during this time. We will then be hearing some prayers from some of our much loved church family and we will be hearing a message from Julia about there is beauty inside us. So before we go into our time of worship, let's prepare to know the presence of God. Dear Lord, thank you that we could be here online today and I pray that next week when we all go back to school, we won't be feeling nervous and anxious, we will be feeling excited to see all of our friends and teachers and I pray that we would have a blessed week next week and that we will learn so much more through this time. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Praise, what's that? It's a
everyone. I'm with my good friend Hannah. We are both partial to a diamond. I do like a diamond. Mm. So we thought we'd share an amazing fact with you guys. Did you know that a carrot, not, not an orange one, but a carrot is a measure of diamonds and one carrot is the same as a raindrop. And the biggest size diamond was found in South Africa in 1905 and it weighed the same as a guinea pig. A guinea pig? A guinea pig. Mine is not the size as a guinea pig. Mm, me neither, unfortunately. <laughs> This diamond was so big, it had to get cut up into a hundred little pieces. The biggest piece was 350 carats, oh and it was goodness. called the Great Star of Africa. Oh, love that. Shine like a star. <laughs> so our scripture is 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8. We are pressed on every side by our troubles, but we are not crushed. So what do you think that like means to you? Diamonds are so sparkly, aren't they? Uh, but they aren't just pretty to look at. Diamonds are the hardest known substance to man. In order to scratch a diamond, you need another diamond. Diamonds are so tough that they're often used for tools in cutting, drilling and grinding. Diamonds are rare and expensive because they form only under really special circumstances. A diamond is made from pure carbon. That's that stuff that you find in your pencil lead. Uh, but in order for a diamond to form, it takes extreme pressure and really high temperatures over a long period of time. Usually this happens about 100 miles below the Earth's surface. That's why volcanoes are the perfect diamond factory to form these diamonds. When volcanoes erupt, diamonds shoot up towards the Earth's surface. So, in a very dark place, under really tough conditions, something really beautiful happens. Something beautiful happens from that very dark place. Something beautiful and unbreakable. Have you ever been in a dark place? Have you ever been under pressure? Could it be that God is using that experience to turn that into something really beautiful? I know myself, I've been under a lot of pressure lately. And in times of my life, uh, when I first had my daughter, that was a really challenging time. When I had a new job, moving house, all of those things. But I don't give up. I just press on through and close my friends in around me and seek for help too. And don't be afraid to show that vulnerability. And out of that comes something beautiful. It comes strength and resilience. So maybe God's using this time of pressure and stress in your life or at any point in your life to make something beautiful out of you and us. What we need to do is trust God, especially when things are hard, that he is going to make something beautiful out of you. Um, so basically last week I felt like I was all normal and happy and stuff. And then all of a sudden, like, I literally felt like someone just, like, flicked their fingers. And, like, I was just like, oh, my gosh, this is all so much for me. And, like, I felt terrible and, like, basically that good example of that scripture. And I just felt, like, so terrible. Like, I couldn't even cry. I was just like, ugh. And I just felt so not good. So, basically, what I did was, obviously, like, I spoke to my mom about it and stuff. But, like, I still didn't feel good. So, I prayed to God and stuff. And later that day, because I prayed and talked to him, I felt better. And I was, like, all back to my normal self and, like, felt so good. And, like, I just felt, like, much better. So, I think when you have all your problems, um, no matter how big or how small, but you feel like that, just pray and actually, like, talk to God. And it actually, like, helps. Even if you don't talk to him a lot and you feel bad that, like, oh, well, she talks to him, then maybe I should, but you feel a bit uncomfortable. Just just pray or whatever you feel that should help you. But, um, yeah. Um, if you feel like, oh, I don't really do this. Like, I read my Bible, I do other things, but I don't really do this. It's fine, like, you know. Um, but, yeah. Would you like to come join me and pray? Um, also, like, you can pray however you want, like, you don't have to pray in, like, one certain way, like, with your hands, or you can, like, you know, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine, like, you can pray however you want, some people just talk to God, they don't, I mean, you could, like, 
if you have a certain spot where you feel like you have to pray in go pray there or like just however you want to close your eyes open your eyes however you want so yeah um thank you lord jesus for this day today thank you like that you just you know you give us a lot of time to live on earth and that one day we will come and join you on heaven i mean in heaven and also lord can you please um help us with all our problems because obviously we don't always just not have anything to worry about we all s eventually have some problems but with you lord you'll help us get through them and maybe during the time that we're having those problems you're busy working something out for us and have a plan ahead of time and you're just like just wait a little bit longer and then this will happen so yes thank you that um we get a lot of time to live on earth and experience living on earth and also lord with our problems and stuff whatever they are if they're really small but they really affect us or different people just help them lord and also for me if i have any problems and problems and stuff you'll just help me feel better and i know that like you're in the room with me and that I can talk to you and when I go to bed you're there and you're just like everywhere. So yes, amen. It was great to hear from you again Isabella and I found it really cool how when diamonds are under pressure something beautiful comes out of it and that's kind of like us now in lockdown. It's a bit boring and we can feel under pressure but something amazing is going to come out of it. We're going to be able to see all of our friends again and we're going to appreciate it so much more that we didn't get to see them. So I would love to pray um, for you and for this week. So dear Lord, Thank you that we had a great week last week and we pray that this week will be extra special. And we pray that when we go back to school next week, we will enjoy it. And when the teachers return back to school and when we return back to school, we will have great education. And we pray that we will enjoy it and we will be happy to see all of our teachers and friends. Amen. Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Such a lot when you've got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy.
Hey, St. Matt's kids. Uh, such a privilege today to be chatting with uh, one of my daughters, Tabitha. So, Tabitha, tell us a little bit ab about you and uh, tell us a bit about your name as well. Well, I'm, ta I'm called Tabitha. Uh, my name's from the Bible, Acts 9. It's a bit in the Bible and Tabitha's really kind and she's, she helps out with the homeless. She does some other good things as well. Yeah, she makes clothes, I think. Yeah. I think she makes clothes. I think and so. um, uh, lockdown, talk to us about lockdown. Any pros and cons for you? Well, yeah. The good things are like our pizza nights on Friday. We have sourdough pizza. Uh, favorite pizza? What's your favorite topping? Pepperoni. Pepper no, not pepperoni. I, think it, I mean pineapple. Pineapple. Not, pe not pepperoni, pineapple. And what, just like. Just pineapple? No, other things as well. And mozzarella and cheddar. Now you're talking mozzarella. Yeah, very good. And, and um, any cons for lockdown? Any things yeah, that you found difficult? Yeah, we can't go to school. We have to see everybody on Zoom. Also, good, we get to see our family more often. But bad, we can't see our friends. We can only see them on Zoom. That has been challenging. And you've got, you've got, tell me what this book is here and what, what, what what's that book? So it's the Guinness World Records. My favourite one of them is the Fun Kids ones because I I listen to Fun Kids a lot. And it's, they've done world records in one minute. The world records, it, each of them has a world record. What's Fun Kids? Well, Fun Kids is a radio station. Mm, I call it um, Headache FM. Oh! Racket FM or Racket Kids. Yeah, it is a racket. Anyway, no, it is not. it's very bouncy music. Yeah. And any other any other uh, world records that you're interested in? Well, yeah, there's like the uh, Joe Wicks one because he's done the most live streams on YouTube. Love that. And tell us also a little bit about your faith, what Jesus means for you. Well, I've been a Christian all my life. And so I'm, I'm quite close to God. And so... It, I like being a Christian and I like being close to God. And you've brought some things in here. Talk to yeah. us about these. What, so what have you got going my, on here? This is my journal. I use it a bit, not as much as I use my devotional and my Bible. But my journal, it has a little verse here that says, God will be with you wherever you go, Joshua 1 verse 9. Love and that. And the front says, as for me, I will always have hope, Psalm 71 verse is 14. Love that. And what sort of things do you write in your journal? Well, I sort of write a prayer and a bit about what I've learned that day. Okay, well, that sounds helpful. And what and else my, have you got here? My devotional, it's like... Do you want to hold that up so that people can see? Stories, like, it's got stories and then it's got a words to treasure and a did you know or a life in Bible times or something like that or a live it. Love that. I might just hold that up for people at home. It's called um, uh, the Adventure Bible Book of Devotions and it's got a little sort of reflection for every day of the year, hasn't it? Do, what do you get out of that? What do, you, what do you do it every day? Yeah, no, well, I try to do it every day, mm. but sometimes I might not do it every day and so I might not have done today. So if what, I hadn't done of, that either, then I'd do that and today. And what sort of things do they cover in there? Well, they cover like, it might say something like, something like, that. it's a title. Lots of it. different things. What about sort of kindness and things like that and yeah, God? And... Sort of, yeah. Okay. And that... then my Bible, it's a bit like less complicated. Looks pretty complicated to me. That looks quite a big thing. It's got a turtle on the front, hasn't it? It's quite fun. Yeah. And it's got sea creatures on here. But then also it's in colour, which makes it easier for me. And it's and it's got like it tells you a bit about them. Love that. Um, okay, final little question. This has been a delight. Um, final question. Uh, what's your favourite ice cream? My favourite ice cream is Cheeky Monkey, I think. Mmm, Cheeky Monkey, yes. Um, well, Tabitha, it's been a real pleasure to chat with you today. Thank you for telling us about the Guinness Book of uh, World Records and about your devotional life. And we've had a lot of fun today, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, would you mind ending with a little prayer for us, maybe to pray for all families and children? Okay. Okay, you go for it. I pray for families that they will not struggle during these difficult times. I pray that they will do well homeschooling and do well teaching their children. 
I pray that we would be able to work through this time and that us families would be able to have fun during lockdown. Amen. Amen. Yes to the fun. Great job, Tabitha. Thanks for joining us, guys. Bless you. Have a good week.